I'm an artist printmaker and as a printmaker I've spent a lot of time investigating the concept of journey and I've also looked at people like Flinders and Bodine and other explorers who came to this country in boats. Engravings are made on copper plates and to carve the copper plates you use a specific tool called a burin which actually gouges away the metal. A very long apprenticeship would take place for somebody learning to engrave to make engravings of the standard for scientific engravings and of the quality from the drawings of the Bodan exhibition. It's interesting when you look at the drawings, they're often very soft colours and quite transparent, especially the jellyfish and blue bottles. And to make that same diaphanous and sylph-like drawing convert into the engraving is really difficult. The engravers have really succeeded in carving away the metal plate very delicately in doing that. When you make a print from a metal plate, then the image is then reversed. So when we look at the drawings and then compare the engravings, opposites happen. So animals will be facing in different directions and things will be changed as well. The colour's been applied in a couple of different ways. There's a process called a la poupée, which is a French word meaning dolly wiping, where the printing ink would be applied gently with little dabbers and then wiped away. So that would be an oil-based ink. But the other method of creating colour on the engravings is to use watercolour and paint it on with a brush. And so these engravings have got a combination of both of these techniques. The printers would have used very similar presses to the ones that we use today, however they would have been made of timber, so big solid beams of oak, steel rollers and woolen blankets to help the paper squash into those grooves that are made by the engraver. So an engraving plate would be able to print a large edition of prints and that way they would be able to sell quite a lot of editions there'd be the original artist, a publisher and an engraver and all of those people would want to receive some money. People collected prints, it just made those works available to many more people. A few artists still make engravings and still pursue that hard way of making lines on copper plate to beautiful results.